Well, dry wells and water shortages have become a part of day-to-day -day life in Dooley County. Unadilla's water wells just aren't pumping out enough water for the town's growing population. 41 NBC's Jasmine Williams explains how digging a little deeper might solve the issue. Cold water on a summer day. It's a hot commodity anywhere, but especially in these parts of town where some people struggle to keep the water running. The city of Unadilla has been pumping itself dry, literally. It's been going on for a while, but it's just really getting bad since we had the drought last year with the, with the rain short rain shortage, and it just got real bad then. Tiriano Felder monitors the town's two wells, and occasionally the older one will dry up. As temperatures and the city's population rise, the resources continue to drain. Well, they tend to not have that much water pressure. I mean, if I had any more businesses or any more houses or whatever, or a housing authority or something in town, they would need another well in order to cope with it. Water restrictions and shortages are common in the area. Business owners like Ronnie Levins fight with farmers and other shops for water from the same well. Now city officials are hoping a new water source will spring up a solution. The proposed well is about 15 feet deeper than the older one and will cost the city $500,000. The city is applying for a grant, but may have to raise water rates as well. But you've got elderly people in town living on fixed income, and already in the last two or three years has been strapped. The hot weather is forcing the city to dig a little deeper before it gets down to the last drop. The city plans to raise the water rates by about 50 cents, and the mayor says it's a small price to pay to keep cool on a hot summer day. In Unadilla, Jasmine Williams, 41, NBC News.